The process to make regulation fencing masks starts with a rectangular piece of tight steel mesh. Its corners are placed in a guillotine, which are then chopped on an angle. The mesh is then placed in a press with a large mold that's shaped like a face. The press bears down on the steel mesh and forces it into a rounded shape. Next, steel wire is bent around a steel form using a special tool. After the ends are brought together to close the loop, an automated welder fuses them together. The hoop is then placed on a fixture and the steel mesh placed on top. A frame then descends that holds the mesh to the hoop while welding guns spot weld the two together. A larger welding gun is then used to weld the gaps in between the spot welds. Now completely fused to the mesh, the hoop will prevent fraying around the edges and it will add structural rigidity. Using a nibbler tool, the excess mesh is removed. Next is the side piece of the mask. First, steel wire is bent into a rectangle. This is then placed in a fixture, over which a piece of mesh is added. The mesh is then spot welded to the frame, tacking the components together in preparation for a full weld all the way around. Which is carried out using these copper welding wheels to fuse the two pieces together. Any sharp edges are then ground off. And this is the result. The side panel is then bent so that it will fit the sides and the top of the head before it's welded to the fencing mask. Again, tack welds are the first phase, holding the assembly together in preparation for a final weld. This full seam weld closes all the gaps, so the tip of the blade can't get through and wound the wearer. Next, small dents are first hammered out. Before the fencing mask is then placed on a rounded post and the mesh hammered against it to finalize its contour. The mask's bib is made from high molecular weight polyethylene. It's super strong and extremely lightweight. The bib has a thick rubber band for attaching it to the mask. After the mesh has been coated with plastic, rubber trim is fitted. The plastic coating on the mesh insulates the mask, preventing electrical interference from the scoring system's wiring. Epoxy glue is piped around the mask, just above the rubber trim. Next. The bib is fitted by pulling its rubber band over the front and top of the mask. The edges are pushed under the band and glue beneath ensures it adheres fully. Next, along the sides of the mask, rivet holes are drilled through the bib and mesh. Rivets are then inserted and flattened to secure the bib in place. There are three fencing disciplines and the masks are slightly different for each one, but each enables the athlete to enjoy the sport without getting hurt, hopefully.